hi dear students in the last two classes we discussed the propagation of electromagnetic wave in vacuum and today we discuss the propagation of the electromagnetic wave in matter matter means the electromagnetic wave can travel through air solid liquid gases or from air to liquid or glass to water or water to air etc here first we discuss what is the propagation of the electromagnetic wave in linear homogeneous medium that is we discuss wave propagation in linear homogeneous medium inside the matter uh, we have already written the maxwell's equations this inside matter maxwell's equations are the first equation del dot d e c is equal to rho f free charge density second equation is del dot b is equal to zero third equation del cross e minus dot b by dot e fourth equation del cross h that was equal to jf free current density plus dot d by dot e ഇങ്ങനെ നമ്മൾ എഴുതിയിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞ ഡിസ് ക്ലാസ്സുകളിലേക്ക് നമ്മൾ ഇത് ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഓക്കെ ഇൻസൈഡ് ദ മാറ്റർ ഇഫ് ദർ ഈസ് നോ ഫ്രീ ചാർജ് ഓർ ഫ്രീ കറണ്ട് ദൻ വാട്ട് വിൽ ബി ദ മാക്സ് മാക്സ് വിൽസ് ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ഇഫ് ദർ ഈസ് നോ ഫ്രീ ചാർജ് that means rho f is equal to 0 or that is no free charge or free current that is jf is equal to 0 then maxwell's equations becomes c if you look at this expression if rho of is 0 uh, this will will be 0 first equation del dot d and this in the second and third equation we don't have any uh, rho f for jf time but in the fourth equation the del cross h del jf goes to 0 so for the maxwell equations becomes del dot d is is equal to 0 second equation del dot b is equal to 0 third equation del cross e is equal to minus dot b by dot e fourth equation del cross h is equal to dot d by dot e okay. now as i mentioned in the title that is what is the meaning of the linear media this linear that is linear medium means in linear medium the displacement vector d will be equal to epsilon e and the magnetizing field that will be equal to 1 by mu b okay the another term that we used to is homogeneous medium what is homogeneous medium in homogeneous medium 
the epsilon that is the permittivity of the medium and permeability of the medium mu that do not vary from point to point. Homogeneous medium means it's a medium in which the permittivity of that medium and permeability of that medium do not vary from point to point. That is, permittivity and permeability will be constant throughout the medium. Such medium is called a homogeneous medium. Then, if you substitute these quantities into uh, these equations, then what will be the equations? The first equation instead of instead of d, we will substitute x alone e. Then I can write the first equation del dot. If I take x to the right side, that will be 0 by epsilon. This will be 0. And the second equation, del dot b, no change as it is. Third equation, del cross e, no change, minus dou b by dot t. E. The fourth equation, instead of h, I will substitute b by mu then instead of d i will substitute epsilon e then this equation will be del cross b is, is equal to uh, here i will take this mu right side that will be mu epsilon dou e by dot t. Therefore, the del cross p is, is equal to mu epsilon dou e by dot t. In the free space or in the vacuum, we had the Maxwell equations with mu 0 epsilon 0. But here in the in a medium, that uh, mu 0 and epsilon 0 is replaced by mu and epsilon. Fine. Now let us calculate the speed of the electromagnetic wave in the linear homogeneous medium. Speed of electromagnetic wave in linear homogeneous medium. That is, we know the speed v is, is equal to 1 by root of mu epsilon. This is the speed of the wave in a medium. We know the speed of the wave in free space. That was c is, is equal to 1 by root of mu 0 epsilon 0. And uh, if I want to calculate the refractive index, then you know the expression n is, is equal to c by v. Velocity of the light in a free space divided by velocity of light in a medium. And if I substitute these two expressions, then this will be root of mu epsilon divided by mu 0 epsilon 0. This is equal to root of mu r epsilon r. Because uh, you know that uh, mu by mu 0 is nothing but relative permeability and epsilon by epsilon 0 is called relative permittivity. Now, from this expression, if you calculate the relative permeability of material, that is for most of the material, this mu r that is uh, the mu will be approximately equal to mu 0 that is for most of material mu r is approximately equal to 1 
that is mu is is equal to mu zero. Then if I substitute mu r is equal to one in the refractive index in this expression, then refractive index n can be written as n can be written as root of epsilon r. That is the refractive index of the material. This n is nothing but the refractive index of the material. And the epsilon r is the dielectric constant or relative permittivity. Dielectric. constant the value of this dielectric constant is always greater than 1 is uh, if epsilon r is greater than 1 then see what is the uh, its significance n is is equal to c by v that is equal to root of epsilon r or v i can write c by root of epsilon r that is v is the velocity of the light in a medium and the epsilon r is the relative permittivity of the medium and the c is the velocity of the wave in free space or in vacuum then if epsilon r is greater than 1 means the velocity so the denominator is greater than 1 Therefore, this result that is this velocity will be always less than c. Yeah. But the denominator one is either root of epsilon r. The epsilon r is the quantity one is either c by one is the v is equal to c is the velocity of light in medium is equal to velocity of light in free space. But a relative dielectric constant of a material is always greater than 1 epsilon r eppozhum onnine kaattil valida irikkum adu kondu ee quantity 1 alla vera denominator that is greater than 1 ennu parayna quantity varu adu kondu ivada numerator inde value this value will be smaller smaller ennu parna kaynal the velocity of the um, electromagnetic wave in a matter that will be less than that of the c velocity of the light in the free space which means the light travels more slowly through the matter uh, therefore the light travels more slowly through matter Actually, this is a well-known fact in optics. If you have a beaker and filled with water, if a light travels from air to this water, then the velocity of the light in air will be larger and the velocity of light in the water will be smaller. That is always the electromagnetic wave will travel through a matter with a lesser velocity than that in vacuum or in air. Okay, that is the meaning. Okay, thus if we compare the changes that we made in the free space and also in the medium, that uh, let us note down. Thus in linear homogeneous medium we replaced epsilon 0 by epsilon mu 0 by mu and velocity of light that is c into v then what what will be the energy density point vector and intensity of this electromagnetic wave 
in matter. Okay. So we have to find out what is the point vector and what is the energy density or the intensity when the wave travel through a matter. That is the first one. First one is a energy density. The expression for the energy density we have already written. That is u is equal to half epsilon 0 e square we have written in the free space but then epsilon 0 is replaced here now by epsilon and uh, the magnetic energy density that was 1 by mu 0 in the medium we have we have to write it is a mu 1 by mu b square then second case the pointing vector pointing vector the pointing vector we have written in the free space s is equal to 1 by mu 0 e cross b only thing we have to do is replace this mu 0 by mu that is s e is equal to 1 by mu e cross b the third one intensity of the electromagnetic wave in medium that was we know that expression that expression was intensity icu yeah, that is average of energy density u we have this expression c instead of u we can substitute half epsilon 0 e0 zero square that is one way I can rearrange half epsilon 0 c e 0 square. But I'm going to slack it under in linear homogeneous media. Tele and the change of it under the epsilon 0 and epsilon acronym mu 0 and mu acronym c load to be acronym. But okay, expression in the code i e c is equal to half e epsilon 0 line to sign at the number of the epsilon acronym. C is the same as V. Vacuum the same as E0 square. Now, this is the same as V. Okay, so we intensity expression. Now, these are all the changes that you will uh, occur okay for an electromagnetic wave when it travels through a medium fine now in the next class uh, we will discuss what happens when a wave passes from one transparent medium to another like air to water or glass to plastic etc okay thank you very much for watching this video